top Loch Ness is a closed road cycle event, starting and finishing in Inverness, travelling round Loch Ness, which is probably the most iconic and most stunning place that you could possibly carry out a cycle event on. Yeah, I cycle every week, all the time. So. But not just preparing for the race, just enjoying cycling. Pretty new to road cycling, so thought I'd give it a go. It's nice to see so many cyclists on the road uh, under such safe conditions. But it's great when the road's shut as well because you get a chance to cycle with lots of other people and be less aware of the traffic and more aware of other cyclists. I think the great thing about the course is there's so many different aspects to it. You've got sort of flat, bit of hill and rolling countryside. It's constantly changing which makes it really interesting and for those people who've travelled from a big distance to come to the event. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big discovery for them. We wanted to ride uh, this event together for a while, and, Close uh, roads, yeah. and we couldn't be further apart geographically. <laughs> so, uh, so we thought, well. We might as well uh, we might as well do it here. It's an amazing place. I've never been as far as far north actually. Now, the King of the Mountains leaves Fort Augustus and travels up the south side of Loch Ness uh, over 4.8 miles. And in that period of time, it is tough. There's no question. Um, and people love that. People love the, that aspect of the event. It makes it quite special. Uh, and certainly, you shouldn't be scared about it. That's for sure. Uh, getting to the top of this hill with my heart still beating. Um, that's been the main highlight. Look up the first bit is, is tough, it's long, but it's worth it. And people told me when we got to the top it would be worthwhile, uh, uh, it'd be a worthwhile view. And, it, uh, and, it, and I think it just about is after all that climbing. Yeah. <laughs> One of the greatest things about Etap Loch Ness is the fact that it attracts uh, cyclists of all abilities. Whether you've been you know, hard at it for years and years, uh, experienced and fast and quip it like, right down to those people who have literally decided to take up cycling in the last year or so who are keen to get into it. it it's great, it's for everyone. We've had 750 riders take part from Macmillan. We've raised a phenomenal amount of money and we're going to be able to provide practical, emotional support um, as well as financial um, and provide local services, as I said, in Scotland. It's very easy not to train during the winter, but when you have something like this, then uh, it gives you a lot of motivation. I think for Inverness it's great for tourism and a good, good event for the city. It's good fun, raise a lot of money. It just gives cyclists such a great opportunity to all come together and um, it's so lovely and safe riding on post roads. It just gives you such a chance to enjoy the countryside. Oh, it's, it's, it's great to get the local cycle, cycling community out. People come and get involved. There are a lot of locals standing out on the road and cheering people on, which is great. So. Oh, yeah, it's just a good community event, isn't it? Yeah, and if you've never done it before, once you do it once, I'm sure you'll come back and do it again. The next year, I think it's set to be even bigger again. Um, we hope to have more riders riding from Macmillan, raising lots more money, and everyone just having a great day. Watching over 3,000 cyclists leave the start this morning, there's so much energy in the air, uh, and they've got, they're all back home safely. It's, it's been an incredible day, and the event is set to, to grow further, um, and to develop into a world-class event.